Today I'm doing the mechanical integration for the GPL Overseas Rover. At this point, I completed all the major sub-assemblies, including the head, the body, the wheels, the corner steering assemblies, and the rocker bogey, and the differential pivot assemblies. Let's check for all the parts. So, I have two 1.5 inch channels. I have 14 channel connector plates. I have a 0 0.5 inch by 15 inch aluminum tube that I cut. I have seven color clamps. And all those screws and washers I have. Let's begin assembly. So, it says, Mounting the middle wheel. Mount one base wheel, not the corner wheels, to the lowest arm of each of the two rocker bogey sub-assemblies using a 1.5 inch channel S1 and channel connectors S6. See figures two and three. Note that you should mirror the wheels so that, they're, so that they are both on the outside of the rocker bogey sub-assemblies. So, they want me to take this rocker bogey assembly and this, and this base wheel here, in one of these 1.5 inch channels and I'm going to put the 1.5 inch channels to here using these channel connectors and screws to attach it and else and then I'm going to attach it to the ro this rocker buggy assembly like this on the lowest arm and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side I finished mounting the two base wheels to the two rocker buggy assemblies. Now it says, attach corner steering assembly. Attach one of your corner steering assemblies to the rocker buggy assembly using channel connectors S6 and screws B1 as shown in figure four. Make sure that you pick a corner steering assembly that has an encoder facing outwards on the same side as the middle wheel from the previous step. So, then I'm gonna take one of these um, corner steering assemblies and they want me to take a rocker bogey they want me to take the corner steering assembly and put it on the rocker bogey assembly with the motor facing up and the encoder facing the direction the wheel is facing I'm going to mount it using these channel connectors these channel connectors and screws
I finished mounting the four corners theory assemblies to the rocket bogey assembly. Now it says attaching corner wheel, corner, attaching corner wheels. Attach a four corner wheel assemblies to the corner steering assemblies. They're all symmetric. You may need to spin the encoder gears to mesh with the motor shaft gears that they're not aligned initially. See figure six. So they want me to take one of these corner wheels here. And then they want me to take it and they want me to place it on this and, co and one of these corner steering assemblies here. And then they want me to tighten it with a screw or a wrench. I'm not done, not done that. I finished mounting the, these two corner wheels to the second rocker bogey assembly. Now it says, mounting body to rocker bogey. Mount the main body of the rubber to the two separate rocker bogey legs using 15 inch aluminum rod S16A and collar clamps S22 as shown in figure seven. Make sure to maintain the order of the collar clamps shown in figure seven to fully lock all the assemblies along the rod. The rod will go through the pillow blocks on each rocker bogey leg. And this should pass through the fourth from the back and second up hole on the body sh as shown in figure seven. So, they want you to take this rocker bogey leg and put it on the body using this pipe. But that, but what I found out was that was the, a little hard. So I can I made this platform here to help me um, to help me lift up the body. So I can put the pipe through and put the rocker bogies, rocker bogie assemblies through the pipe. Now I'm going to touch the rocker bogey. I finished mounting these two rocker bogey assemblies to the body assembly. Now it says touching the differential pivot arms. Touch the bottom sections of the differential pivot to the 0.5 inch clamping hubs on each of the rocker bogey attachments. Once these are all in place, tighten down each of the screws on all of the clamping hubs as shown in figure 9. 
So, they want me to take this, um, the differential pivot arm, and they want me to put it here and tighten it using a screw. And then I'm going to tighten it. I finished mounting the differential pivot to the rocker bogey assembly and the body assembly. Now it says mounting the head to the body. Slide the PVC pipe at the bottom of the head into the PVC clamping hub on the rover body and tighten down the, cl the clamping screws. So, they want me to take this head component that I made here, and they want me to take it and put it on this PVC clamping hub here. And they want me to take it and put it here and tighten the PVC clamping hub. It took a lot of work, but I finally finished the rover. So, thanks for watching. My next video is going to be electronics. Bye!